you guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be talking about my everyday jewelry collection i thought it would be fun to talk about the pieces that i wear every day um so these are things that i don't take off when i shower swim work out um i pretty much just always have these on i sleep with everything on so i'm going to share everything that i'm wearing from earrings necklace bracelets and rings those are pretty much the only like pieces of jewelry that i wear currently um and these do switch out i would say i would say every like two months i like swap out one bracelet or one necklace or something along those lines but for the most part i play around with different combinations and usually like it for a long amount of time so i am the type of person to just like keep all of these on versus like change my jewelry look every day. So all of the pieces that I'm talking about today are 14 karat gold. I don't only buy 14 karat gold jewelry, but for the pieces that I wear every day and sleep in and shower in, um, I make sure that it is 14 karat gold. I just personally would prefer to invest in one nice piece of jewelry that I know that I'm going to have forever versus a lot of maybe like silver or gold plated jewelry. Let's get right into it. I don't know if you can see exactly, but this is the jewelry that I'm wearing right now. This has been on me for probably about three months, this specific combination. So I guess I'm gonna start with necklaces. As you can see, I'm wearing three right now. Usually three is like my lucky number in terms of necklaces. Sometimes I'll put on four. Usually it would be like a choker, but three I think is a good number for stacking necklaces. I think anything more than that is a little bit too much and then sometimes two is not enough. So three is what I usually have on. And I also like to make sure that the necklaces are different lengths. So I will talk more about each one individually, but my shortest one currently is 16 inches. The middle one is 18 inches and then the longest one is 20 inches. So I always like to make sure that there's like at least two inches in between so that they're not getting tangled. Okay, so the shortest one that I'm wearing right now is this one. And the necklace itself is different from the charm. So the chain itself was, I believe, 180, uh, which is pretty good. It's like a very weighty necklace because of the balls, they're not hollow. Um, so definitely worth it in terms of that. I know that they go online for a lot more than 180 So I think I got a good deal for that um, If you look closely the balls on the necklace are diamond cut So when the Sun hits it or the light hits it it has a nice shine to it And then the Daisy charm that I have on it is from HRH collection and she has a few Daisy pieces in her line um, one of them is a choker and I actually emailed her to see if she would be able to make me just the charm because I have so many chains already and she wrote back and was able to do like a little custom order for me so I just purchased the charm itself and I knew I wanted that so that I would be able to interchange it on all the other chains that I have so I got the Daisy charm for $65 and I love it so much this Daisy is just like so moving on to the next one which is this middle one and this is a flat chain um, these are super popular right now this one's a little bit thinner than what I see other people wearing um, but I do like how it's dainty especially since I wear so much other jewelry it doesn't like overpower so this one I actually got from TJ Maxx one of my best jewelry hacks I would say Normally people wouldn't think to shop for jewelry at TJ Maxx, but they have so much good stuff and this is 14 karat gold. Bought this one for $1.99 from TJ Maxx online, which I love about that because you can just go online and browse. They're constantly changing their inventory. And since people don't normally think to go shopping there for jewelry, I think it's like fun to find pieces that other people wouldn't normally have. The next piece is this little butterfly and it's just on this cable chain. And I love this one so much. This one I got from Etsy and the chain itself was 130 and then the, the butterfly charm was 45. So um, I love being able to just have like, I have a whole collection of charms and I just interchange it and see which ones look good with each other. So right now I do like having the daisy with the butterfly. I just think it's like a cute little garden 
situation. So these are just my three necklaces. Sometimes I'll wear a choker along with it, but for the most part, these don't tangle too much. Like I said, I make sure that I have the two inches in between each one. So these don't bother me to sleep in. They don't bother me to shower in. I'm just used to it at this point. Okay, now moving on to bracelets. Let me just give an overview of what I'm wearing. So I do have a lot on, which is very typical of me. I always have like at least three on each arm. I just feel naked without it. I love bracelets. If I had to pick one type of jewelry, it would definitely be bracelets. I don't know why, I don't know what it is, but I'm obsessed. So let's start with the right arm. I'll talk about each one individually, but this is what they look like together. This first one is actually a flat chain as well, similar to my necklace, but the millimeter size is bigger on this one. So I bought this one on Etsy for 163.30. So that's a pretty good deal for a bracelet, honestly. If you go to like Majuri or something, they're gonna be a lot more expensive, especially for something like this. Um, and I love this bracelet so much. They were really nice. I was able to customize the size because I have really small wrists. Uh, my wrist size is six inches, so I always make sure that I check the measurements before I buy something online because half of the time bracelets are like seven inches usually. Is a ball bracelet. So this is actually similar to the top necklace that I'm wearing, except this one, the balls are a little bit bigger. So same exact style. Um, this is diamond cut as well. And this bracelet specifically I purchased with my mom and my sister, and we bought a long necklace that like, it literally went all the way down here. We purchased that for I think $500, and we had it cut. We brought it to a jeweler, and we had it cut into three different bracelets, because um, all of our wrist sizes are a little bit different, so it ended up working perfectly, and we only had like one inch left of the chain. So that's a fun hack to do if you have like a family member or a friend and you want matching bracelets is to just buy one really long chain and bring it to a jeweler and have them make it into a bracelet. You could also make it into a necklace or an anklet. So that's super special just because we have like matching from the same chain bracelets. And so this next one is just a Figaro chain with this little charm on it. And my mom actually got me this for my 23rd birthday. So I've had this for a really long time. The charm has these little diamonds on it and I love it. Also, the charm is big enough to slide off of the chain, so sometimes I will take it off and put it on my necklaces, and that way I can get two uses out of it. All right, this next one is a little bit bigger than most of my other ones. This one is actually from Ross Simmons, and this is another one that I purchased with my mom and my sister um, to have matching bracelets. We just love doing that. I believe this one was $400, which is a little bit on the higher side in terms of bracelets, um, but it is significantly bigger than all the other ones, so it's definitely much more of a statement. Uh, so I do love this bracelet. We also purchased this one with the intention of adding charms to it each year. Um, we haven't done that yet because we just got this bracelet, but now moving on to my left arm. I just have three on here right now. And this one that I have in front is another larger one. This is just like a thick curb chain and my boyfriend got me this for my birthday last year. This is one of my favorite bracelets ever. I love this bracelet so much. It's just a perfect size and look. I love the way that the chain is close together. Um, there's so many different types of curb chain where like the links are further apart, but this one they're all so close together and I love it. I believe this one is around $400, so if you're looking for something similar, that's pretty much how much they should be going for. Sometimes they're more depending on if it's hollow or not. And then this next one that I'm wearing is a super special bracelet. This is actually my baby bracelet. So it's an ID bracelet. And my mom recently found it in, I don't know, one of our bins. And I just loved it so much, but obviously it was my baby bracelet, so it was really small. So I brought it to a jeweler and they matched up the chain and were able to extend it. And I just got it engraved with Mo on it, which is my nickname. And now I'm able to wear my baby bracelet. So if you have any old jewelry, I'm gonna do a whole separate video on like repurposing jewelry and I love doing that. I have so many different rings that I took the stones out and swapped it with something that I like more now. Cutting old necklaces and making them into bracelets, the whole thing. There's so many different things that you can do. So I am not exactly sure which video is gonna go up first, but once both videos are posted, I will link the other one in the description so that you can check that one out. This next bracelet is 
so special to me because I pretty much designed it. So this is just a rope chain that I had as a necklace. Um, not sure where I purchased it. I've had it for a really long time. I think like even high school. But, but if you are looking to buy just like a rope chain and make it into a bracelet, they should run around 130, 150, depending on where you get it. If you get it from like a known brand jewelry store, it's gonna be more expensive. But if you go to a local jeweler, they're gonna have a rope chain and it shouldn't be that much more. So this one, I since it was a necklace, I brought to a local jeweler. I had this design in mind. I used to play around with jewelry when I was in high school and I kind of created this design um, myself. So I wanted to bring it to a jeweler just to have them solder everything together and make it so it wasn't gonna fall off or break since this is 14 karat gold. And then I had them attach two extra pieces on the chain that dangle down. I just like the look of dangly bracelets so much. So there's just two little pieces and as you can see here, one of them is longer than another. I think it just adds a nice little touch to it. So this is just a really fun bracelet. I just like the way it looks on my wrist when it's just dangling down. And it's fun that I like had a vision and brought it to someone and they were able to make it happen. Okay, so those are just the bracelets that I'm wearing right now. I usually don't wear more than these just because then it starts to like all mesh together and then you can't really see each one individually. So those are the bracelets. And then let's move on to rings. So on my right hand, I just have two on right now. And this one is a really thin, dainty gold band. This is another one that I got from TJ Maxx. This was $40, which is insane to buy something that's 14 karat gold for $40. Obviously this is like, there's like nothing to this. So some people would think you're either even crazy for buying it for $40, but this will never tarnish. I never take it off. But if you go to the TJ Maxx, they have a jewelry counter and they usually have an area that is all of the solid 14 karat gold stuff. So might as well check it out. And then this one is a little name ring and this is so special to me. This is my dad's ring and we share it and like one of us gets it for a year, the other one gets it for a year. But I've been wearing it for like the past three years. So, sorry sis. It has my dad's initials on it and it's really funny because I didn't even have to get it resized. So I think he had this ring when he was in like high school or something because his fingers were obviously smaller. Right, and moving on to my next hand, I just have this chain ring from Mejuri. And this one, I actually, I had it on my ring finger, but it broke off, I think last year. And I brought it to the store and they replaced it for me. And I will say, I purchased this ring probably two years ago. And they definitely like changed the design or something because when they gave me the replacement, it wasn't as nice as the first one that I had, which is kind of sad. But they were nice enough to let me exchange it for a bigger size because I wanted to put it on my pointer finger, but now it's too big on my pointer finger and it's like falling off of my thumb. So I think I might go back and see if they can change it for a smaller size again. And then on my pointer finger, I have another thin band. It, this one actually has like a rope twist texture to it. Um, it's a little bit bigger than the other one. This one's like really thin, but this one I got from TJ Maxx also it was $40. So that's just such a good deal. I love this ring so much. Just like little dainty rings. These are so comfortable. I don't feel like I have to take them off when I'm sleeping or anything. You can't even feel that they're there. And then this next one is my beloved Cartier ring. I got this. My sister got it for me. I was her bridesmaid. She got married last year and this ring is just forever a part of me. I literally have tan lines from this ring because I never take it off. And those are the rings that I currently wear. Sometimes I'll wear pinky rings, but I usually take those off when I'm sleeping or like washing my hands because my finger sizes fluctuates throughout the day if I'm hot or cold. So, Currently, I always wear the beat. And then moving on to earrings, I did another video, I will link it in the description or in a card, um, about all of my piercings and like kind of like how those went. And then I also explained the earrings that I was wearing. That was about six months ago now. So I did change up my earring situation a little bit. So I will talk about that and where I got them. My earrings, I definitely changed the least. It's easier to just like throw on a different bracelet, but these earrings are all flat back twist-ins or like push-ins. So it's definitely more annoying to change myself. So I definitely keep these in for a longer amount of time. So my right ear has the most piercings and this is the situation we have right now. 
Uh, I guess I'll start with the top. So this top one is my Rook piercing and this earring is from BBLA. Um, I believe, my sister got me this for my birthday actually, but I think the earring itself was like 170. BBLA is really expensive, sometimes a little bit more expensive than they should be. You could definitely get like a dupe for cheaper, but they are good and I never take, I mean, I can't even take this out even if I wanted to, I have no idea how to take that out. Personally, I do think it's worth it in the end. Um, okay, and then this one is just this little gold ball stud. This is from Three Jewels, which is a tattoo place in New York. This one is just a gold huggy, and it also came with this one, so it's just two gold huggies. I got them from Amazon for $40, which is such a good deal. I will link those down below. This one is another BBLA piece. This one was $150. Um, it's a pushback, and I hate doing it by myself because I'm really scared that I'm gonna break it. This one is, this is a CZ Huggy, and I got this one from TJ Maxx. It's 14 karat gold, and I believe it was like $45 for a pack of two, which is a really good deal again. If you're buying a Huggy from like a known jewelry brand, it's probably gonna be about like $100, or at least $75 for a pair of two. So, that's a good deal. And then, if you can see here, I have this little chain hanging from both my earrings, and that is a piece that I actually made myself. I will include it in the video about repurposing jewelry, so make sure to check that one out. And then, this last stud that I have in here is this little daisy stud with a diamond in it, and I got that when we were traveling in Spain. Um, we were in Mallorca last October, and I ran into a jewelry store really quick, and I found that, fell in love, and bought it within like three minutes. And I'm really mad because we were rushing that day and they had a matching bracelet and I really wish I bought it, so I had to go back. And then on my left ear, I have pretty much the same. I always like to match my first hole and my second hole um, with the same earrings. So I have, this is a freckle by the way. <laughs> In my last video, someone was like, what is that on your ear? And I was like, that's a freckle. Um, so I have the little daisy in that one and then this is the CZ Huggy from TJ Maxx. Okay, so this one is an ear threader and I got this from Automatic Gold. It's a jewelry brand in New York and this usually comes with this little gold bar that's on this piece hanging off and that's how you thread it through your ear. But two days ago it actually broke off so I'm gonna have to contact them and see if they can fix it. Um, I'm going to New York next week so hopefully they can. But you just thread it through your ear and you can thread it through multiple piercings and it's just a nice addition um, I also really like it. Sometimes I wear it on this ear just because there's so many piercings I'll thread it through all of my piercings and I love when I do that because you don't feel it's just a chain So you don't feel like you're wearing any earrings and it's really comfortable when you're sleeping So if earrings bother you when you're sleeping and you don't want to have to change them out I definitely recommend getting an ear threader because it's you can't even feel that it's there um, so I have that in my going through my cartilage and it's basically keeping that hole open and then there's a little loop that's attached to the back of this huggy. And then in my tragus piercing, I just have this little hoop. Um, I got this from New Top Jewelry in New York and um, I, I forget exactly how much. I think I got them for $65 for a pair. Uh, so it's a little bit more expensive than Amazon. And then up here, my triple forward helix. I just have this little hoop. This is from Three Jewels. I believe it was only like $30 or something, which is crazy because if this little one was only $30 and it was one, I got two that were way thicker for 40 So. And then this is just a little star BBLA. I believe that one was 120 And then this little ball is the same exact one that I had here. Um, from Three Jewels, and I bought all of, all three of those when I got them pierced at Three Jewels in New York. And that is everything that I'm wearing right now, all of my jewelry pieces that pretty much stay on me always. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the other one that I have coming about repurposing your old jewelry. Please like it and subscribe.